Hello, my name is John Singletary and I'm with the National Action Network for the state of South Carolina. And we first want to thank each and every one of the doctors, nurses, and people in the medical profession who put their life in harm's way every single day in order to help with this pandemic. I come to speak simply on the coronavirus and to pose the question, does South Carolinians, are they entitled to test it? We submit that yes, they are. And the reason why is based on legal, moral, and common sense approach that the funding is available. Every time we hear COVID-19 and testing that is recommended by every single professional in the medical field to be the primary thing that outweighs everything else when we open up the state, it is ignored. The White House has not been opened up for visitation. The governor's mansion is not open for visitation. So why would we open our state up to jeopardize the very lives of our citizens? I submit that the funding is available and I'm going to tell you exactly where it is. When we take a look at South Carolina, we've got $180 million into an account called the Fund Balance Account. That is the surplus. That is the money left over after the government has taken from the people taxes and other forms of income so that they can operate. It is normally three months, four months that you have in reserve. And everything left over and above that is considered fund balance or surplus. You paid more than you should have to operate the government. Now that money is not left there in order for them to stockpile and then give no bid contracts to family and friends. Those funds are to be returned to the public in form of a service or in the form of the money that they gave. We've got North Charleston, for instance. North Charleston has a $141 million surplus, enough to give over a thousand people, or every citizen's a thousand dollars for the COVID-19, whether it's small businesses to get loans from that city, or whether it is to apply for testing and the PPP equipment that is necessary for our first responders. The funding is there. Think about 46 counties and all the cities in the state. There are billions of dollars that right now are available to this governor, to the city county administrators, and to the mayor to protect the South Carolinians that are right now under the gun when it comes to COVID-19. So this is why I say we are entitled because the money should be given back. And if the funds aren't given back, then we are entitled to have them to be used to protect us with equipment, with testing, and with small business loans back to our small businesses who have paid in. We are submitting to the governor this as a solution. We're not just bringing problems, we're bringing solutions. To say that billions of dollars are available in South Carolina as we speak right now today. Go to the balance sheet for your city, for your county, for your state, and take a look at the fund balance account. It is equivalent to a surplus. When you take a look at that, then you ask your government, your city administrator, ask your governor, why is this fund, are, are these funds not being used in order to protect us with testing for COVID-19? Again, John Singletary with National Action Network. Thank you.